In an exchange of letters over the summer of 1935, Albert Einstein and Erwin Schrödinger constructed what they called an infernal experiment. The Gedanken experiment, a paradox in a box, became the first mockumentary of quantum mechanics. Guten Tag, I am Herr Professor Dr. Schrödinger. And who are you? Hey, Professor Doctor, I am your lab assistant. Good. Is the Gedanken experiment ready? Yeah, well, we're missing a couple of items. I'm not sure where to get any radioactive uranium. Kein Problem. Just borrow some from Madame Curie. But where is the lab? We're in the lab. Yeah. But wo ist der Labrador? Oh, you want a dog? Yeah, right. Go find one, steal one if you must, even if it means spending a night in jail. And take some bolt cutters, just in case. Is everything ready? Uh, yep. As you can see, I've constructed it exactly as you've described. So um, in the top corner, we've got the Geiger counter. Now, that will detect whether the uranium has decayed. If it does decay, it will release the ball, which travels down the chute, pushes the flaming car to the end, which will um, cause the fist to knock on the wall, which triggers the door handle to open, sending the hammer down and smashing the flask of prussic acid, which will release poisonous gas. We shall now see if the dog lives or dies. I thought this was just like a good, good dank, uh, whatever experiment, right? Did you learn that in lab school? We are seeking a higher truth than reality. We need to find the hidden variable that proves the dog is either dead or alive. We need to show those Copenhagen Dummköpfe the absurdity of superposition and entanglement. Spukhafte Fernwirkung indeed. So the dog's gonna die? Quantum mechanics is not for the faint-hearted. The uranium decays and does not decay. The poison gas is released and not released. The dog is both dead and alive. We cannot know until we open the box and observe it. That's what the Copenhagen crowd wants us to believe. But don't worry, nature is not random, and God does not play dice with the universe. If Albert and I are wrong about this, I will eat the dog. Let's see the experiment. Films might change our our perspective of, of things, and ultimately, in the long term, it it may it may be something valuable. But there's a lot of absurdity involved as well. In 1957, Hugh Everett proposed a solution to the paradox of Schrodinger's Gedanken experiment. Rather than a measurement or an observation causing a collapse of all possible worlds into a single quantum state, the wave function splits, creating parallel and independent realities. But in other words, and in one of all possible other worlds, the dog lives.